They say you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Strictly speaking, that may be true. But in many ways, the people of American Crystal have been proving this old adage wrong for nearly 40 years. Farming has always been a family affair, and American Crystal has always been a family kind of business. Generations have been working side by side in the field and in the factory since the day a bunch of farmers decided to buy a sugar company. They do hundreds of jobs, from piling to packaging, maintenance to management, engineering to agriculture. And for many, the opportunity to work side by side with family, moms and dads, sons and daughters, grandmas and grandpas, brothers and sisters, makes the work they have chosen to do even better. Yeah, I started at American Crystal Sugar Company about 29 and a half years ago. I've been here for 33 years. I've been working at American Crystal for about 30 years. I've been working at American Crystal Sugar Company for 38 years. I do janitorial work. As a boiler house foreman. I started out in the lab. As soon as I got old enough uh, to drive a tractor, I was driving a tractor, you know. My dad works here, my brother also works here. Everybody knows my mom, you know, she's been around for 30 years too, you know. I farm with my brother, which obviously is called Field Brothers Farms. What a, there's no other business in the world that, that uh, you know, you wake up in the morning and you go to work with your, with your family. At American Crystal, what is passed down also gets handed forward, land, knowledge, and values. We take pride in the quality of our work and know we have a responsibility to build on what we have been given to make it better for those who come after us. Good morning, American Crystal. My sister Kim was working here in the marketing and sales department. She called me one day and she said, um, there's an opening at, at the corporate office where I work. So I came over here and I applied and got it and um, been working here ever since. American Crystal Sugar is a great place to work. It's, it's, it's a great opportunity for anybody. So I wanted Joni to, to try and ex to get in and experience that. And it's, it's one of the best places to work in the whole Red River Valley. So I started in July of 77 as a boiler house foreman. My son, Ken, is in the boiler house here. He knew a lot about boilers before he even come out here because I'd been doing it for 20 some years. So he had a little advantage over some, he kind of understood it. For me to start out where I have, you know, single father, young child, just out of high school to be, uh, have gone, worked up the ranks in a business like Crystal Sugar to, you know, making a, a decent living got my boilers license, something I would have never, probably ever guessed in a million years that I would have, you know, be following exactly in the old man's footsteps. Uh, my brother has too. Uh, it's, you know, sheds a new light on the respect that I have for him that I may not have ever had before. The reason I chose to come back to home here uh, is because I get to be close to my family. Uh, I was working in Alaska for four years. It started kind of drifting away. I would, I'd be gone for three months at a time sometimes. I'd just go and do whatever, and, and you start missing family, and uh, now I'm engaged. This job basically gave me a good opportunity to come home and, and be with my family. I've been here for 33 years, and I believe that they have a job here until the day they retire. I was a truck driver and worked in the storeroom, and. I actually loved it in there, but then I went to safety and sanitation, and um, um, I actually, I love my job. <laughs> Everybody knows my mom, you know, she's been around for 30 years too, you know, and she's uh, uh, real friendly, she's, she's always got a smile on her face, she's a good listener, you know, and of course she can work while she, while she listens, and, and her name, you know, Grandma, you know, I mean, she's the oldest person here, I think. I worked in the lab and uh, 
the pulp pen, bag pulp. I did, I washed floors and well, I did a lot of different different things, you know. I love it. If I if I wouldn't like it, I would have never stayed this long. <laughs> Yep, you can wait at the end here and uh, we'll finish that strike out where we're at and then we'll go over to where my dad is. Yeah, we farm uh, roughly 8,000 acres now. Um, we, we grow sugar beets, of course, um, wheat, soybeans, corn, um, and recently we started growing some edible beans. I farm with my brother, which obviously is called Field Brothers Farms. Growing up, you know, our parents and uh, grandparents, you know, they always let us know the farm will always be there. And they encourage us go out in the in the get a good education number one and get out in the business world work somewhere so that if you do indeed decide to come back to the farm you'll never have those regrets of you know I wonder what it was like to live in the big city both John and I did that and and now we're both very comfortable where we are and uh, eager to make the family business grow they decided they wanted to be farmers, and uh, I told them that's great, but uh, uh, you're going to get a college education, bring back something uh, to the table that uh, enhances our farming operation, makes it better. We'd like to think that we haven't just come back to the farm and maintained the hard work that he's done over the years, but we've built on it. I think it's very important to us to build on it and to add something to this whole process, uh, the business. and and to make it grow and be successful. You know, growing up, we worked with our grandpa. We were, you know, we each kind of had the person we followed around and, and that's who we learned uh, We learned the ropes from. And I know the family farm gets tossed around that, that you know, name all the time. And, and I guess I, we kind of like to say it's a family business, you know, and, and if you can run a professional business at the same time with your family, I think that's the best of both worlds. And, and, yeah, truly, I, I enjoy that. I took over the farm with the intent of uh, uh, keeping it uh, uh, viable until the boys uh, uh, were at an age when they could make the decision to become farmers. And uh, I'm grateful for the fact that they did choose to do so. I choose to come to American Crystal every day because it's a great place to work. My name's Ken Lamberson, and this is my chosen field. I'm the receptionist at the corporate office in Moorhead, and this is my chosen field. I work for East Grand Forks American Crystal Sugar. I chose this field about 33 years ago. My name is Carol Peralt, and this has been my chosen field. I'm safety and sanitation lead. This is my chosen field. I chose to, to come back to this profession. It wasn't a, I'm just farming, I'm just home farming. It's, it's, I chose to do this. I chose to carry on the family name. I mean, I guess in my opinion, that's a perfect scenario is to have that opportunity to have a family business and, and that privilege to own your own business and, and have it be a family business and uh, carry on the tradition that um, we have five generations now. I'm the fifth generation that's farmed in our family. Um, and for my brother and I to come back and carry that on, I, we think it's just what better way to do that. Um, it's, uh, it truly is amazing to be able to do that. The destiny of American Crystal Sugar Company has not been a matter of chance, so much as a matter of choice. An industry leader, we stand today as the sum of forward-looking choices made over generations by people who have always understood what it takes to make things grow whether it's a beat or a bottom line, by people who are committed to their company, their communities, and their customers, by people who know that when the torch is passed, they will have left things better than they found them, and that a new generation stands ready to ensure the sugar beet industry will continue to sustain families in the Red River Valley for years to come. <laughs>